some updates coming in just a few minutes ago from the National Hurricane Center with that 11 a.m. advisory. Let's start off with this one. This one is the one that is really churning away, as you can see on visible satellite or infrared satellite, I should say. This is right now Tropical Depression 13, the 13th of the season. Now, later today, is it, in, it is anticipated to strengthen to tropical storm strength, becoming Laura. That is going to stay at that strength through the weekend. Now, with this most recent update, the National Hurricane Center has bumped up its intensity to a Category 1 hurricane by the time of uh, Monday morning as it potentially impacts the Bahamas, maybe Hispaniola, and then from there, likely impacting uh, the Florida Panhandle. We'll want to pay attention to that. The other new update is we have another new tropical depression. Now, this one is out in the central uh, Atlantic, and it is moving westward towards the uh, Yucatan Peninsula. Now, this one is likely going to stay and just impact Mexico. And as I told you before, there is that tropical depression 13. The third area of development is way off in the far eastern Atlantic. This wave of tropical uh, moisture coming off of the coast of Africa. Uh, National Hurricane Center has it progged as a 40% chance of tropical development over the next five days. So remember, we're all the way through Kyle. We're expected to see Laura later on today. We might see Marco by the uh, end of the weekend. We also might see Nana as well. So the bottom line is none of these pose uh, immediate threat to the low country. But immediately here in the low country, we do have some thunderstorms coming up later today, which we'll take a closer look at in our next forecast.